Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 2 and today I will show you how to enable the power saving mode. And to get started let's pull down the notification panel, find the power mode, hold it and this will take you to the settings. So from here we can go into medium power saving mode or maximum power saving mode depending on which one you want. Now medium, as you can see, it brings up this menu, giving you uh, several information of what it will do. So turn off always on display, limit CPU speed to 70% and turn off 5G and switch to only 4G or LTE, along with dropping the brightness, uh, maximum brightness by 10%. Now if you don't want some of those features, you can simply tap on it to disable it. If, for instance, you want to still have full performance. Uh, now also it will do a little bit of different things that isn't actually mentioned in here uh, things like for instance uh, switch off mobile data or Wi-Fi when the device is uh, in idle mode so when you're not using it for several minutes uh, and that is so basically it doesn't need the connection so it's just gonna disable it but it will result in you receiving notifications and stuff like that uh, from Facebook as an example only when you actually interact with the device because only then the device will reconnect to wi well network. So let's stop on uh, turn on and as you can see there's the things that it's doing. Uh, restricts background data, high system speed, um, background location check. So a couple of things are basically disabled and all of this is just to save the battery. And this is the normal power saving mode I would say but you also have the maximum one. Uh, now it does basically everything that the um, medium one does, as you can see right here. Um, but once you actually tap on the apply, you will see a bit of a difference. So we have limit CPU speed, turn off always on display, restrict background data, limit number of usable apps, dark mode, turn off uh, biometrics, high system speed, um, turn off 5G, background location check, and didn't get to read the last one. Uh, but as you can see, there is way more happening here and also if you look at the display itself, it is right now a little bit, um, well, bland to say the least. So it removes uh, well, any kind of wallpaper. Um, wallpaper is unnecessary. You're trying to save as much battery as you can. Uh, and by actually disabling the wallpaper uh, and keeping the display black, it doesn't need to light up all those this area that is purely black. So that saves battery. Uh, and there's way more happening here, as you can clearly see. Uh, now once you're done with this mode, simply tap on the toggle once more and it will go back to normal. And there we go, there's the last thing that I didn't manage to read is the motion smoothness, so uh, the refresh rate of the display will be uh, also reduced. By default this is 120, so I assume it's going to drop it to 60. Now once you go back, I think it's still going to keep the previous one, now it goes back to optimize, so it also will uh, leave the medium power saving mode if that was enabled at the beginning. So this is how you would enable the power saving mode and if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.